Hello and welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microdict Configuration Series. Today's topic is about configuring IP IP tunnel in Microdict router. The IP IP tunnel is a simple protocol that encapsulates IP packet in IP to make a tunnel between two routers. Many routers including Cisco and Linux support this protocol. Our main goal is to connect two remote sites over the internet or lease line and access to company's internal server by configuring this IP IP tunnel. Okay, let's see the scenario. This is our lab scenario. You can see we have two sites here. One is head office and, and another end is branch office. In between we have provider rich router. Both sites connected to different ISP. Both router got slash 31 IP. You can see that 10.168.162.14 slash 30. And this is also slash 30 IP from the provider router. And it's reachable between two routers by some routing mechanism. So we actually can ping each other. It is the primary condition to be able to ping each other's one IP. Okay, now let's log into our router. This is our head office router. Let me show you the IP address I have already configured here. This is the one IP address and this is the LAN IP address of head office. And I have set up here my default routes. So basic configuration is done here. So first we will create IP IP tunnel interface. So to do that we have to go to the interface and then select IP tunnel. Click plus sign to add. You can give a name here, anything you like. And here the local address and the remote address you have to specify here. We have to specify the tunnel source address as local address and destination one IP as remote address. So our local address here is 10. And our remote address, check out from our diagram. This is our branch office address, which is remote address 182. I can copy it. Okay, we don't have to keep this keep alive. Now click apply and then okay. Now we will set peer IP on tunnel interface. We'll have to go to the address list, click plus sign to add, and we have to specify a tunnel IP which is 10.40. Here we have to set the interface as tunnel interface. Right. So we have a slash 30 peer IP on tunnel interface. Now we will configure static route. We will route to other than LAN over the peer IP. We have created the peer IP on tunnel interface to route LAN to LAN over the tunnel. Okay, to do that, we have to go to the IP and then to the routes. As sign to add. The destination address we will specify other and LAN address, which is this one 192.168.1.0. And we will route over the tunnel IP. Other end tunnel IP, which is 40.40.2. Click apply and OK. Now we will configure branch router. We'll do the same exact steps we have done in this head office router. With the branch office router. We have done our basic setup. This is the one IP address, LAN address, and default routes to the internet. Okay, now we will have to create the tunnel interface. The IP tunnel, click plus sign to add. The local address, this is the source address, source one address 10. Dot. This is the branch of his local address, and the remote address is actually head of his one address. Click this one, click apply and OK. Our interface is up. You can see 
now we will have to configure the ip address on tunnel interface and it will be on ip ip tunnel interface and finally we configure static route to reach head office lan over the tunnel ip then to the routes plus sign to app the destination address we will specify the head office lan address block which is 172.16.1.0 and we will reach to that destination over the tunnel ip now we will verify our connection suppose we will ping from the branch of his pc this pc to this pc okay for the console we have the ip 192.168.1.2 so i'll ping to help his lamp yeah we can reach to head of slam pc which is this pc actually you can see and if i ping to branch office yeah so this is a very simple way to connect to remote office by configuring ip ip tunnel hope this video helps in some sort do subscribe this channel for more videos thanks for watching